Okay, this is it. We've heard far too many good things about TikTok ads. And right up to this point, all of my ad campaigns has always been on Facebook, Google, YouTube, Instagram. But I've actually never touched TikTok. And the reason why I've never touched it is because I've always thought that TikTok is about doing weird, funny dance videos. It's about teenagers. And quite frankly, my ideal, my ideal audiences are not teenagers doing funny dance videos. However, that being said, um, I've heard far too many good things from other marketer friends who talked about how uh, products in various markets, niches, industries have a much better number in comparison to other ad platforms. So I am going to be launching my very first TikTok ad campaign together with you guys. Um, you're going to be able to see behind the scenes to exactly how to set up your first campaign as well. This is literally the first time I'm logging in other than, you know, creating my account and putting my credit card details and all of that. But other than that, as you can see in this account right now, there's no campaigns. Everything is zero dollars and we are going to be doing it together. And if you stay till the end of this video, you're going to be able to literally save a ton of time so that you don't have to go through what a usual person will go through when it comes to figuring things out in setting up their first campaign. So that being said, let's begin. Okay, so just like Facebook, they're asking me for my objective, okay? Now, in most cases, um, for Facebook, if you've watched my other videos, the gold standard is always for conversions because Facebook, with all of the algorithm and the info and data that they have in all of us, they would know what is going to be required in terms of audiences that would help drive conversions the most. So a conversion could be a lead, could be a sale, it could be a download, it could be a phone call. And Facebook would have all of the numbers and stats to determine what type of audiences that will give you the cost per, uh, the lowest cost per conversion, okay? Now because this platform is semi-new, I don't wanna start with conversions because I don't know if TikTok actually has the details on understanding uh, what type of person would buy a you know a thousand dollar ten thousand dollar product and i want to start off with just traffic first because i know exactly how much my earnings per click is so i feel that for tiktok it would be a better way to start could be totally wrong we'll find out once we start running this okay so this is how i typically name my uh campaigns it's always the date when i set it up what type of objective? So in this case here, traffic, not conversions just yet, together with the funnel type. Okay, so I'm gonna continue and the ad group, I'm gonna leave it as default. Promotional type is for the website. Use pixel to track. Yes, I wanna do that. Okay, so what is a pixel? So very similar to Facebook. Um, a Facebook is, w is a specific code that you'll need to install on your funnel or your website um, so that they can track how many people has visited, if people are buying, if people are opting in, if people are converting. Okay, so you, you need to have this, this code that's installed. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new pixel. Um, so in order to create conversions, you need to install a TikTok pixel first. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is, so why TikTok pixels? To track activities, improve performance, yeah, they, exactly what I talked about earlier. Okay, so create pixel, let's call it pixel, I'm just gonna call it Ping June's pixel, okay. Um, and I'm gonna manually install pixel code myself. So the pixel is like the base code that needs to go onto your funnel builder. So whether you utilize WordPress or ClickFunnels or, or, or Groove Pages or whatever, okay, th there's literally hundreds of funnel builders out there. I personally utilize ClickFunnels. I'll show you how it looks like. So I'm gonna install it manually. All I'm going to do is, um, manually install pixel click on next so just like facebook it looks very similar i'm going to copy my uh, pixel code and okay so with this pixel code that i just copied i need to paste this somewhere okay 
So the place that I'm going to paste this code is on my funnel building software, right? This needs to go on your website or your set of pages. So for me personally, because the place that I'm sending people to this for this example is for a webinar funnel because it's pretty easy to track. So what this means is this is the webinar funnel. I'm getting people to sign up for this webinar. And so wh what is a pixel and what is it doing? Let me just head over to my um, whiteboard over here to walk you through the process of what, what this pixel is for and how this might be different for you, okay? So what this means for you is to first understand where the pixel is going to. So for me, because this is a webinar funnel. Now, what is a typical webinar funnel? Somebody lands on the webinar registration page. They register for this webinar. After they register for this webinar, there's some sort of confirmation page, right? The confirmation page is like, hey, this Ping Jun here, congratulations for registering. When the timer ends, um, the, the webinar will begin. So this might be a live webinar, this might be an automated webinar, depending on what it is that you choose. So I'm gonna put in, you know, live, inverted commas, because it could be live, it could be an automated webinar that runs however often you set it, okay? So this is a live, sometimes known as a presentation funnel. And on this live webinar, um, at the end of it all, you would make an offer, right? You make an offer and if they go to the checkout page, that's when you sell something and that's when you get paid, right? So that's when they get their, their product or their download um, and that's ultimately how you get money, okay? So what is the difference between this page and this page? Well, this page is where you get actually get paid and um, over here, this would be the checkout page, okay? Right, so now obviously your sales process could be different. It could be an opt-in page and then with a sales video and then an upsell. It could be the case that you get people, it's a, it's a video that sends people into a phone call, right, phone consult. So different business models would differ. So for this mo current model that you guys are seeing right now, I want you to understand like what is this TikTok pixel for because how you use it in your business might s differ, okay? So if I understand that this is my, the flow, which is register for this webinar, they're confirmed, they get on this live webinar, they go to the checkout page, and then after that you get paid. Now ultimately what TikTok just gave me is a bunch of code, remember that, that paragraph that it gave me, that I need to put on all of my pages. Right, my pixel needs to be installed on this page, this page, this page, this page, and this page. And the good news is, with most decent funnel building softwares, you don't have to manually install it on all these different pages. Okay, you just need to install it at like the main settings area, and it will automatically go onto all pages. Okay, so which is the step we are at right now. Okay, so so to to give you that understanding, so there are many softwares that does that. So the software that I utilize is ClickFunnels and um, if you want to be able to get a 14-day free trial, um, the link is in the description box below. Along with that, we give you uh, many different templates, um, including a webinar funnel if that's what you want to be able to utilize um, so that you can get started really easily. Okay, so that being said, let me go ahead and share my screen again. So if all those are the different funnel steps, all I need to do is to go to my funnel builder and I just need to go to settings. And under settings, you will see this part here that says head tracking code. You see this, head tracking code? So as you can see in my head tracking code over here, um, I've got a ton of code, right? I have, I have codes from my Google AdWords, okay? I have code for my Facebook pixels. So this is to track all of my different campaigns, right? Um, and now I'm adding one more, which is the TikTok code that TikTok just gave me, right? So as you can see here, this is my TikTok pixel, the code that they just gave me. So what this means is all I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, click on save, and I'm done. This means that from this point forth, 
all of my pages in my entire sequence. Okay, now, now mine's a little bit, you know, I'm targeting different countries which has different pages and all that. But ultimately, the gist, the summary is what I showed you earlier, right? Registration page to thank you page, or rather confirmation page to the webinar page, to the checkout page, and that's when you get paid, okay? So coming back over here, now that I have saved it, my pixel should be installed, okay? Now that my pixel's installed, okay, on my funnels and all of the funnel pages, the next thing that I need to do that's very similar to Facebook is I need to tell the platform to further focus and zoom in on a specific KPI, a cost per result. Okay, I want you to remember or write that, write that term down. Okay, what is a cost per result? Now, what is a result? A result, or sometimes known as an event, could be a lead, it could be a sale, it could be a phone call, it could be a webinar registrant. Okay, so depending on your business model, depending on your sales process, the event that you might want to track might be different. And the event that you normally want to track is normally the most shallow event. Let me explain. Now, when I say shallow, I'm not talking about shallow-minded, but shallow event meaning if let's say you were selling a $30,000, $10,000 thing, product done for you, consulting, then chances are rather than trying to track your cost per sale, the cost it would get you to acquire a customer, it might be much better to, uh, to think about how much it costs you to get a phone call. And based on your phone call closing rate, will you be able to determine how much it costs you to acquire a sale, right? So what you want to do is to be able to let the system know what is your event that you're tracking so that eventually you can optimize for the event. Does that make sense? So, because ultimately TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, they all, YouTube, they all wanna make, help you make money. Because when you make money, that's when you'll spend more money with them. But they can only help you make more money if they know what it is that you want. So ultimately right now, what we're really doing is we are tracking what it is that we want so that the, 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 the platform knows what it is that we want. Because this is a webinar, it's a webinar funnel where people register. Ultimately, I want these two things kind of similar, okay? Consultation form. Um, let's go with custom. Let's see if they have a webinar registrant, okay? So I'm telling TikTok, if somebody either clicks a button, goes for an online consultation, registers, add to cart, place an order, complete payment, okay? To, 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 to them, that's a conversion. That's an event. So my event would be, in this case here, user registration, okay? So I'm gonna call this event name uh, webinar registration. Now, because this isn't necessarily a sale, I'm gonna leave this empty. And the reason why I wanna track how much it cost me to get a webinar registrant is because I am selling a higher ticket product, in this case here, $1,000, I want to be able to know how much does it cost me to acquire a webinar registrant on this platform. Does that make sense? Because a sale might be too far away in order for the site to get enough data to help and enough data points to help me optimize. So I want to start off with something a little bit more shallow, okay? So next, website URL. Okay, like I mentioned, um, this is the website. The pixel should be in place. Okay, looks like they automatically updated, uh, detected it. Okay, cool. The next one is choose uh, tracking method. Based on this, um, I want to be able to tell that I got a lead based on their destination URL. Okay, and I'll show you why that is the case in a second. Again, I'm doing this first time with you guys, but based on what I've always done on other platforms like Google and, and Facebook, this should be it. So destination URL says, count user visit to a specific web page as event. Now listen to this, count user visits to specific web pages event. This could include the confirmation page after purchase or thank you page, right? So why is this the case? So I'm utilizing this, okay? And again, let me just um, exit this for a second so that you know what's, what's happening right now. So I have 
installed my base pixel, remember, on all these pages. But now I want to be able to tell TikTok how to track a specific event. Now, what is an event that I want to track that's most shallow? It's not the sale, okay? Because I want them to be able to optimize for, for, for here, right? And get me low cost per leads that is targeted, right? So in order for me to do that, I need to tell TikTok right now that this is the event, right? Now, why is this page the event? It is because if somebody lands on this page, it tells me that they registered for my webinar and they opted in. So I need to tell TikTok right now that this is the link, okay? So I'm gonna assume that in the page that you guys are about to see right now, this would be the, the link that they're gonna ask. So for you, what is your conversion? What is your event? This would be either your checkout page or your thank you page or your webinar confirmation page after they do that initial action. Now I'm gonna register for this webinar and what I'm going to do and you'll notice is that I got my thank you page here. So all I am going to do is I'm gonna hit back to this event and I am going to tell TikTok if my page URL contains this thank you page link, that means that there was a user registration, right? It was a webinar registration. So I'm gonna complete this. So ultimately what this does and what we just did is we told TikTok what it is that we want. And that's important because when they have all of the data that, that is on us, that is when they can give us what it is that we want. Okay, so I've added this in. Let's click on complete. Let's see what happens. And it looks like we're done. As you can see, I've got zero user registrations right now. And uh, it looks like we're set. The pixel is up. So let's see if we were to go back to our campaign. Let me refresh this. Okay, so now you can see that if I were to refresh this, there's Ping Jun's pixel, right? We'll click on this. I want to optimize it for user registration, which is my webinar registration. I'm going to utilize automatic for now. Allow user to comment. Allow user to download my video. Let's see this, creative type. I don't know what this is. I've never tried it before. Let's leave it off for now. And this is all about learning, right? So let's see, right now, audience, who do you want to target? Okay, so, so this was my main issue right up at this point. I don't know like audiences in TikTok, if my ideal idea, uh, audiences, marketers, business owners, entrepreneurs are actually over here. For audiences, I'm, I'm gonna leave this extremely broad first because I actually want to see what TikTok does, okay? So in terms of location, I want English speaking countries and um, for some reason, this TikTok account, because it's created from the country that I'm from, which is Malaysia, I somehow do not have the United States over here, which is a huge bummer for me because that's my main target audience. I was hoping to see US, UK, Singapore, but that's not in a drop down menu. Um, I don't know if that is because it's not fully rolled out yet and it's still r very new. Okay, we'll find out. Now, languages, super important. It, it has got to be English uh, for me only. So, behavior. Um, I would like if they watch the end. Yes, liked, commented, shared. I don't know if this is going to narrow down the audience too much. Um, 19,000, thousand. So, that would be 19 million, which is insane. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as that. Uh, category. Man, okay. Creative and leisure, education, sure, entertainment. Um, lifestyle, I guess. By the way, right up to this point, I have like three videos on TikTok, okay? Just to see what it's all about. Okay, it's like a time period to include actions on. Uh, I'll go with 15 days. Device, no limit, no limit. Connection, doesn't matter, okay? Um, budget, okay, so I wanna put in a thousand. So this is about $250 uh, USD a day. And click on next. Okay, ad name. So this is where we need to have an ad. I have not created an ad just yet. And I believe that this would be the last step. Okay, so because the last step of the campaign is to create an ad, I'm just gonna do a real quick ad with you guys because since this is the last piece here. Okay, so um, ad ideas.
You know what? I'm taking far too long analyzing this, trying to think of something. So all I'm going to do is I'm literally going to take a real boring picture. Okay, so just to give you guys a glimpse of what I'm actually seeing right now, I'm just going to swap over to that camera. Okay, so that's like, come on, what, what's in front of me, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking, and this is more like of a clickbait, right? When somebody's like scrolling on TikTok and then all of a sudden they, they see a picture like this. Add in these words on Instagram first, through Instagram stories, because it looks identical to TikTok. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is all I've done. Okay, I've put in discover how to build, grow, and scale an online business. Join our free webinar. This is literally it. Um, I'm going to save this right now. Going back to the ads manager. Okay, what's happening over here? Remember, there's a format, there's single video, there's single image. Now, I got a feeling videos might convert a whole lot better. And in the next vid video, I will be exploring that. So be sure if you want to be able to see our results, our numbers, what happens after we run this campaign, uh, what happens after we split test, which one was the winner, be sure to first of all, smash the like button. It does help the channel out a little bit. Let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is so far. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified on actually updates to the campaign and what happens and if, if the ad cost was indeed lower than the other platforms. Okay, so here we go. We're going to upload the two square formats. Okay. And uh, I am going to be utilizing square. That's right. So you'll see that if we take a look at the um, and magnify it straight into my zit over here. Confirm. I'll one more. Confirm. What? This image does not match the requirement for the following placements TikTok newsfeed please adjust your image so basically what they're saying is that this would fit the requirements for all these other platforms but not TikTok because they have their BuzzFeed and Hello and Pango just not just not TikTok TikTok's not going to be showing images all good. You know what? We're just going to run it anyway. Just know that this is the part where you might put in a 15 second video instead, which we will create in a future video. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see what happens. Display name. Okay, so what I'm ultimately doing here is I want to make sure that my ad copy is congruent with my landing page so that people don't feel like it's a clickbait. So when I click on it, it's congruent to what's promised. So what's promised over here is watch me build out a brand new revenue stream of high quality online customers that you can replicate to build, grow, and scale any business. So I want to be able to utilize that messaging again. Free webinar, webinar reveals how to build, grow, and scale any online business join us for this free train okay we are going to wait says validation error what's the validation error does not meet the requirements i'm gonna shoot a 15 second video you guys are gonna watch me do it it's gonna be super simple just like before, so that you know there are no issues. Okay, so 15 seconds. I want to make sure that it's under 15 seconds so that it meets the requirement of uh, TikTok and there are no issues this time since it looks like they don't actually accept images. So, with that said, I am going to be reshooting this video. 15 seconds. Here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2. If you're looking to build, grow, and scale an online business, and generate that site hustle. I want to be able to share with you how you'll be able to do it in five steps. All you need to do is click on this link and join us for this free training. Okay, so literally that was 14 seconds. We're going to come back here. We're going to update this again. We're going to change this to a single video. Upload this video here. It's called TikTok ad. Let's go upload. Okay, this should work now. Look at that. For you, page. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Make $300 a day online. Discover how to build, grow, and scale online business. Free re webinar reveals how. That's literally the copy. Um, submit. Congratulations. Your ad will now be revealed. 
Okay, so now it's in review. It's all submitted. Who knows how long the review process will, will take. But, so here's the conclusion, okay? Ultimately, if you want to save time, go straight into making a 15 second ad. Notice my languaging, it's only two things. In 15 seconds, you can only do these two things. Pay off, call to action. If, some, if you are somebody looking to benefit, 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 then call to action. Okay, so it's just calling them out on benefit, call to action. That's what I did my 15 minute, uh, 15 seconds. And then after that, uh, making it so that TikTok knows what it is that you want based on you installing that pixel as well as conversion code. Is this going to work? Is this going to outperform Facebook, YouTube, Google? I have no idea. I don't know how qualified they are. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect. Um, and, th and that's why I've always hesitated coming on to this platform because to me, in my mind, it would be just a bunch of teams. But who knows? We'll find out if there are qualified buyers in this market. If you want to be able to find out what actually happens, be sure to smash the like button. K make sure you subscribe. Watch and binge watch my other playlist on Facebook ads that is going to appear in about five seconds from now if you want to be able to master the game of ads.